well. So today I am going to be opening mail that you guys sent to my P.O. box. Whoever sent this is named Mr. I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Mr. Neji Sufargi in Tunisia. What? What? What is this? This guy gives me his address and it says, congratulations, you won the amount of $3,000. Please send me the prize by Western Union. And he gives me his bank information. What is going on? What's the prize? Are you paying me $3,000 expecting that I send you something in return? What is happening? Weird start. Kylie Carter in New Mexico. Why do you guys do this? I've received so many of your graduation invitations. I don't live near you. I don't give a fuck that you graduated. I'm just kidding. Congratulations. Oh wow, this person says that I read one of their Valentine's Day secrets and my mom and I were so happy. It was the, oh my God, it was about her dad. Quote, he ain't dead, just a deadbeat one. Ah, man, that was a good secret. I remember. I remember remember her. Anyways, she said, you don't have to come to my grad. Don't worry. I asked my dad to come to my grad and he left me on red, LOL. Oh my God. She also sent me her Instagram and a very interesting drawing of my cat moo. Thank you, Kylie. Best of luck with your daddy issues. Oh, it's a drawing of moo with a really fat tail. Look at that fat tail. Hi, Alex. My name is Logan, I'm bored, so I figured, what the hell, I'll draw you something. Something. Thank you, Logan. This is from Miami, Florida. Oh, while we're talking about the states, uh, can you guys do me a favor and vote? Thank you. Winnie the Pooh stickers! It's the little things. <laughs> I'm high as fuck right now, and just watch one of your YouTube videos. The first part of that opening sentence is key in understanding that I'm not normally as weird to write people on YouTube. Anyways, you're fucking hot. I am hot. The AC in my apartment is broken, and I like you. I like me too. So much that I'm stooping to creep level to ask you out. If you're open to hanging out with a cool, fun, down-to-earth chick, let's make this romantic for the fuck of it. Shout this fan mail out in one of your videos. If you do, I know you'll you're open to this fucking craziness and weird situation. Okay, hold on, hold on. Just because I'm reading this out loud does not mean I'm open to it. I'll slide into your DMs with a secret word. Conundrum. Oh, that's a good word. Maybe I am open to it. Make sure not to say the word in the video. Fuck! This is from Brie in Misery. Ooh. This Morse code bracelet was made so you always know you're loved. I am loved. I know now that I am loved. And their letter is in the shape of a heart. If that's not love, I don't know what is. Wow, I'm tearing up. It's a really nice letter. Thank you, Brie. This means a lot. Okay, we've got Dev Alexander from Texas. It's teeny ass fucking handwriting. Oh my God. Dev, AKA Dragon Slayer, says that they are in a principle of education course and they have to send a letter to someone who they admire. Apparently the inventor of mac and cheese, AKA Thomas Jefferson wasn't available, so guess what? I'm stuck with you. Haha, <laughs> wow, make me feel like shit. Dev. It would be great if you were to wear a lobster hat in your videos, but I mean, hey, you do you. Okay, I mean, yeah, I'm taking all suggestions, but if you want me to wear a lobster hat, then you better send me a lobster hat because I won't take that initiative. This package is from Society Socks. Ooh, I like, I like. I will never experience cold tootsies ever again. This is from Caitlin Sinclair in New York. The little book of sloth philosophy. How to live your best sloth life. Oh my. Did you know that it can take a month for a sloth to digest a meal? They have the slowest metabolism in the animal kingdom. I don't want to live like a sloth then. I would prefer not that. 716candleco.com Thanks for all the entertainment while we are quarantined. Enjoy all your videos, keep up the good work, and close a little thank you. Hope you enjoy, Chad. Okay, Chad, it's a Dr. Pepper can candle. <laughs> I wonder if you guys did that on purpose. Like at what stage in this business did you guys realize that the word candle has the word can in it? And we've got a Mountain Dew candle. Wow, and they, I don't really drink that much soda, so I can't tell if it really smells like the soda or not, but I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. This smells so good. Thank you. Okay, this is from China. Fuck, I'm sorry. I accidentally just saw in the package what it is. It says plush spider toy. Does that mean it's a toy shaped like a spider or is this a toy for a spider? Let's find out. Why does this make me want to throw up? That shit's terrifying. I hate it. 
I hate it. This is from Pet ID Tags. Okay. Wow. It says, Moo the asshole. And then the other side says, Fuck you. <laughs> we'll see how Moo feels about it. Actually, she doesn't, she doesn't read English. Never mind. What is this? Oh, it's a laser pointer for the cat. This is awesome because I used to have one and I lost it and Moo loves this shit and I love this shit. Thank you. You might already have one of these. I don't. I have two cats. They're older. They don't really run around anymore. I thought Moo might like it. Hope you have a good holidays. Might need new batteries, but probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna make that my profile description. Might need new batteries, but probably not. <laughs> That's good. I'm a 20 year old girl living in Massachusetts. I have a rare disability that leaves me in a lot of pain daily. Since the virus, I haven't been working because I can't risk my health. So I found my passion and started my own business. I make handmade earrings, pendants, eyelash serums, face serums, and much more. Her website is deliarose.bigcartel.com and you can find her on social medias at shop Delia Rose. Let's see what she sent. We've got this scrunchie. I love the color. Earrings, these are so lovely. Okay, I've got this shoe box. It sounds like there's something broken inside. Fun! Nothing's broken in here, she just sent me beads. <laughs> I made these. She also made stickers. And they sent a photo of their cats. And a drawing of me and Moo. Oh. They sent a bunch of tiny babies just this morning. I saw a stupid video on TikTok of someone making a drink with a baby floating in it. But I remember watching the video and being like, I want tiny baby. And it's 10 hours later and I have five tiny babies. Not one, five. That right there, I manifested these tiny babies. I guess they were already in my home this morning when I had that thought. This is, I don't know, I do not know, but they printed out a little picture of hot air balloons. So, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's supposed to mean something, but I own this now. Hello, I like your videos. Put this and the picture in a video. Thank you, smiley face. No name, no return address, just, I, why do I feel like there's something suspicious about this? Like holding this up to the camera, I'm just gonna be initiated into the dark web or something. You know, it's just like, I don't, I don't know why there's so little information and it makes me a bit suspicious, but. Thank you to everyone who sent me mail. I really appreciate it. This was so fun. I haven't done it in a while and I'm just, I'm very grateful. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe. I upload videos whenever I want. Bye.